ボーグジャパン。私はナオミです。今日はですね、ちょっとみんなに見せたいものがあります。こちらでーすバービョーンそうケイト・スペードのこの広告がこのニューヨークの街にバーンってなっておりましたこんなことがありますかね去年の2019年に、まあ、日本とニューヨーク行ったり来たりするよということでそんな時にこんなね早くもニューヨークの街中に自分の広告が見れるなんてと思ってすごいよねこの感じ。バーン。あ、じゃあ、やばいやばい。嬉しい、Thank you so much。Yeah, no problem. Yeah, of course. まあこのニューヨークにね、行ったり来たりするようになってからたくさんの人と会うことがあって、で日本だとねなかなか会わない人種の人たちだったりとか、あとはこういろんなお仕事をしてる人だったりとか、もう本当にさまざまな人と喋ることによって。すごい刺激を受けて言葉だけじゃなくてこう人と人とのつながりみたいなのはすごく勉強になったかなと思いますねこのニューヨークに住むようになってから、まあ、住んでることだけじゃなくってそこから何を得るかみたいな、まあ、このニューヨークいろんな、ね、世界のファッションだったりとかいろんなエンタメがねこのアメリカを中心にいろいろ回ってると思うんですけども今このアメリカではプラスサイズのボディポジティブなプラスサイズのモデルさんが結構たくさん活躍されてるんですよ、まあ、私もまあプラスサイズのモデルというか、まあ、プラスサイズでやらせてもらってるんですが今回はそのプラスサイズのモデルさんと一緒にお話を聞いて、まあ、どんな風にプラスサイズが始まってその彼女たちの人生がどう変わったのかっていうのを実際生の声を聞いてみたいと思います Here we go! Hey! <laughs> Hi. Hi, nice、I'm、to meet so you. I'm so happy to meet yeah. you. Me too. I have to tell you, I wore these bright, happy colors because that's what you remind me of. Just, I look at your Instagram and I was like, I'm not wearing black. Oh, but I meet her. So thank you. I wanted to be. Sparkly and happy and colorful too. <laughs> well, I can't wait to tell you all my stories. Okay. <laughs> this is my. 20th year modeling. 2020 makes 20 years in the fashion industry. So, like this. Wow. I know. I know. So, 20 years ago, I was a plus size model. Yes, yes. I started as a plus size model. It was my only dream to、mm-hmm. be a model. I wanted to be in magazines. I wanted to play dress up. I wanted to have a billboard in Times Square.、Mm-hmm. I wanted the whole fantasy. And I went to New York、mm-hmm. and we found all the agencies in New York and we marched into the agencies with our photos. And I was like, Hi, I'm here. Make me a model. And they were like, No, you can't do that because your size is not right. And it was the first time I had honestly heard that in my whole life. This was so many years ago that there was only one agency at the time that、mm-hmm. was representing women over a size 12.、Mm-hmm. And they wanted to sign me and give me a contract. However, I had never even heard of plus size modeling before. So, one of my biggest questions and concerns was can I still be、mm-hmm. in magazines? Can I still、um, do photo shoots and, and be on these billboards? And they said, yes,、mm-hmm. for sure, you can do the same things. And so I said, sign me up. 20年前からプラスサイズのモデルがいるっていうことは多分世間のほぼの人はいなかったと思うしそのエージェントの人たちはすごいあの多様性というものをすごい大事にしている会社だったんだなって今聞いて思ったしあなたがこの20年間の中できっとプラスサイズのモデルの立場というかその立ち位置がすごい変わってきたと思うんだけどそれは結構肌で感じましたかいや、yeah, I mean, Big misunderstanding about the plus size women or about the curvy women in general at that、mm-hmm. time, and I think especially、um, in the fashion industry. So it made the already very small market、mm-hmm. and window very much more mm-hmm. small. Mm-hmm.、Um, Everything in the industry was rare because、mm-hmm. I think that she was just very misunderstood. And so、mm-hmm. we spent a majority,、um, I mean, I spent a majority of my early days in, the, in, in my career just basically.、Mm-hmm. Um, Proving and showing who this woman really is and what kind of life she leads,、mm-hmm. so that the rest of the industry around could 
meet me there, could match me, mm-hmm. and could, you know, um, really represent this woman the way that she was really living her life. The biggest difficulty was always just proving my worth, or mm. proving the worth of many women. I think I put a lot of pressure on my own shoulders to mm. um, be the voice of a community. Mm. It was just many years over and over of, of you know, being at the forefront and not backing down to just show these magazines and designers and brands that you are worthy of being there all the time, Mm -hmm. 100% and consistently, and so that there is a normalization Mm -hmm. of um, inclusiveness and diversity within publications and in media so that it wasn't feeling like um, a token where mm. you know you just one time a year they would mm. have a curvy girl and then they would go back to doing things the way they always did them. Um, so it was just constantly uh, you know raising your hand and saying, hey, mm. hey, hey, wait, I belong here. You have to just stay uh, positive and confident and you keep going because you know that the change will come because it has to. こう進化していってるというか前に進んでいってる感じがして私もなんか自分で洋服のブランドを大きいサイズ始めたのが2014年に始めたんですけどあの始めた時は大きいサイズなんて売れないって言われてでそれこそやり始めた時まあ結構批判を浴びたのねその一般の人たちとか芸人の友達とかじゃなくてファッション業界のなんかこう女性の先輩とかがなんかブログに私のこと書いてデブがファッション業界に来るなって書いたらしいのそのブログでその人も1週間ぐらいしてそのブログ消しちゃったらしいんだけど私はそういう人がいるんだってそれを初めて知ったのそのブランドやる時に「おめでとう!」って言ってくれる人とだからあそういうふうに言う人もいるんだと思った時に私は私は何とも思わないけどでももっと強くみんなでなんか頑張って。あの進化していかなきゃいけない、心も進化していかなきゃいけないなってすごい思ったんですけど。You know in your heart what's real and what's right, and you know that of course there are women that want these things. They want amazing fashion and they want to wear color and they want to wear, they want to show their arms and you know it's just constantly just proving them wrong, right? That's what I've been doing for 20 years. But yeah, so I actually, and it's kind of a similar、um, situation as well. I,、uh, in October of 2017, launched、mm-hmm. um, a size inclusive performance activewear line、mm-hmm. called Day One.、Mm-hmm. And the reason why this I feel like is very unique is that, well, one, there were no activewear lines that existed at the time past a size 12. And、mm-hmm. I realized this very quickly because I was. Training to run a marathon,、mm. and I couldn't find clothes、mm. to run the marathon in. Somebody was telling me that my body is not、mm. meant to be a runner.、Um, so I launched this line.、Um, it's size 0 to 32.、Mm-hmm. Our top selling sizes are 18 and above. And I knew that this would be the proof that I was always speaking about in the industry for 20 years, and、mm. that if you give her the opportunity,、mm. she's ready and she will shop. And I think this was just the proof that I. You know, I needed to validate what I'd always already been saying.、Yeah. Everything all together for every woman to shop in the same place. I should be able to go shop with my friend who's a size two, and we can buy all the same things, and I don't have to just leave with. Makeup.、Mm. <laughs> so I feel like this is the future, absolutely. It's just a place for everybody.、Mm. まあ、私のブランドも、まあ、そのゼロからのサイズはさすがにないけど私は一番、えー、と S サイズから 6L まであるんですけど、まあ、最初はなんか大きいサイズだけでいいんじゃないかって言われてでもそういうなんか差別をしたくないなんか大きいサイズだけの人たちだけで盛り上がりたくないしなんかいろんなサイズの人に洋服を楽しんでもらいたいっていうのが,よが思ってやってるんだけど昔はね洋服屋さんとか行って。もう全然好きじゃない柄で好きじゃないデザインだけどこれしか入らないから仕方なく買う時とかあったもんね。Yeah, yes, and、ね、then you have to get creative, and then you say, well, maybe if I put a belt around it, it'll be cute,、yeah. or maybe if I do, you have to do so much work to love、mm-hmm. a piece that you don't love that much because it's the only option.、Mm-hmm. So, no more, we're changing things. Yes, yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> でもキャンディさんのところにそういうコメントとかみんなからの声届けませんか本当に洋服ファッションを楽しむことができたとか自分自身が持つようになったとかっていうコメントたくさん来るんじゃないですか、yes. 
Mm-hmm. Positive feedback is really the driving. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I always say it's the cherry on top, really, because you know I started this mm-hmm. career mm-hmm. many years ago as a selfish dream, but mm-hmm. that's only because I only was thinking at the time of the things that I would do mm-hmm. um, for my, you know, for my fantasies is mm-hmm. that I would be getting my hair and makeup done and doing photo shoots. And I was young and I wasn't thinking of all of the um, things that might come along with being in a position that mm-hmm. I'm in and, and making myself a, a public figure. When I receive a message from a woman mm-hmm. and she tells me that the way she looked at herself is different and more positive, or she finally went to the beach and she wore a bathing suit and had a great time, or she uh, signed up for a race because mm-hmm. now she has a, you know, the leggings that she's excited about and she mm-hmm. can. All of these things, if any time I receive a one-on-one communication with somebody somewhere in this world about something that has impacted them that I've done through uh, an image or you know through my brand, it is, the one thing that I never imagined mm. would ever come along with this career, and it's the best part of this mm-hmm. career. I'm sure the same yeah. happens for you yeah, as yeah, well, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. なんかそのみんなの言葉で私もすごい自信がつくし、私もみんなのみんながいろいろ私を認めてくれたじゃないけど、私のことを思ってくれておかげで自分にすごい自信を持ってたし、でもうんやっぱり。一番はねこうやって自分が好きなことできてるっていうのはやっぱりこうチームがいてでみんながいて同じ思いの人がいてその人と喋っていってっていうところからどんどんどんどんこの思いが広がっていってみんな好きなようにできる時代になってきてるのかなと思って。Just imagery in general that you're surrounded with and messaging is really inclusive、mm-hmm. and、um, brings just a sense of celebration and love. The vibe that I'm feeling, I think,、mm-hmm. you know, many many women、uh, feel the same, is is rejoicing because suddenly there's a weight that's lifted off your shoulders and you feel okay to just be who you are. They can see themselves and they can feel free、mm-hmm. to be individual and unique and celebrate that. And it's a really it creates an energy in the air around you and it feels really really good. And so. You know, in these moments, I know that we're never going backwards, and what's forward is even better and better and better. And that everyone can really just embrace who they are, and I think that means that someone even who is different than them、mm-hmm. will love them as well. I、mm-hmm. think that it will have a trickle down effect with just everyone loving each other.、Mm-hmm. This is what I hope. I'm very much a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> love each other. <laughs> Together,、mm. we're stronger. We'll、yeah. do this and、yeah. hopefully take other women with us and、yeah. just spread this、yes. this confidence and this、mm-hmm. vi- this good vibe.、Right? Yeah, definitely. Yes. なんかまあこれからあの私もいろいろ英語を覚えてまあいろんな表現最強のエンターテイナーになるために何か必要なことってありますか？これはもう後半の私からの質問。Oh, you already have it. You already have it. You have to just be yourself. I spent. So many wasted years being someone who I really wasn't. I thought that I needed to be、uh, this very glamorous,、um, makeup tight dresses. If I if I love my body, I have to show my body, right? And so、mm-hmm. I'd be wearing tight dresses and the fanciest purse, and always with my makeup done. And that's not totally me. Like I I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of gal who listens to country music and likes to hang out with my. Dogs and my husband at home. Like I don't. I was trying too hard to fit in places that、mm-hmm. were not necessarily natural for me. And I think that just in the grand scheme of things, you just have to be yourself. Like、mm-hmm. there just becomes a point where later down the. I wish I would have learned earlier to just be like, no, this is me. I'm not going to overthink things. I'm not going to change myself. And I'm arriving to this party like this, and I'm going to have a great time. And I'm just. It makes things a lot more fun when you're just yourself, you、mm-hmm. know. And so you already have that nailed. So we're ready for you in New York. すごいなんか勇気もらいました今の言葉で。かニューヨーク来た時とか友達とかいやそんな服着たってニューヨークじゃダメよみたいな感じでなんか言われてあニューヨークってそういうこういう格好で街歩いちゃいけないんだと思ってニューヨークに来た時はニューヨークの服を着なきゃいけないと思って最初買ってたの。でもそれでもなんか別に何も特別なこと起きないし。逆に日本で自分が好きな服を着て
好きなふうに生きてる感じでニューヨークに来たらいろんな人に声かけられるようになってその服いいねとかその服いいねって言われた時にあやっぱ自分でやりたいことをやらないとダメなんだなっていうのはすごく一つ勉強になりました。There is something about this city, I don't know what it is, but we fall into this all black trap. And I do the same thing. <laughs> and I would have worn that here today, but I knew I was going to be with you. And、mm-hmm. I thought, no way. You need to just channel her fashion and her energy and her life and light and vibrance. And it made me happy. I got excited to leave the house in a different way than I normally leave the house. And I'm going to remember that for the future is just to have a little bit more fun. これ何の時間ですか<笑>